The spirit of lust is a demonic spirit that tries to keep us trapped in a cycle of envy, jealousy, impulsive, and sexual immorality. If you find out you are struggling with lust, deliverance is extremely important. Also to win the battle, it is essential that you understand the spirit against which you are fighting. If you want to overcome the lust of the eyes and are serious about it, you need to abstain from all appearances of evil that seems to be everywhere now. Overcoming lust of the eyes can be challenging indeed, even to Christians considering all evil and moral pollution we see around us. It takes a lot of discipline on your part as a Christian in God's grace if you want to overcome the lust of the eyes, leading many into the sexual sin of sexual immorality due to lack of discipline with what many let their eyes see. 1 John 2 verse 16 For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The lust of the eyes is basically watching what is not yours. God addresses this issue in the Ten Commandments. Exodus 20 verse 17 You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. The Lord also tells us what happens when we act on converting thoughts. We trade our heavenly inheritance for physical possessions. Ephesians 5 verse 5 For this you know, that no fornicator, unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. The spirit of lust comes in a lot of different forms. The four main forms are lust of the eyes, envy, lust of the flesh, and sexual lust. James 1 verse 13 through 15 Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desire and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it's full grown, brings forth death. Jesus said in Matthew 5 verse 28, But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Jesus also said that when your eyes is good, the body is full of light. But when your eyes is bad, our body is also full of darkness. He therefore warned us in Luke 11 verse 35, See to it then that the light within you is not darkness. The lust of the eyes has never satisfied anybody. Lust will keep you craving for more. It will prove to be your ruin unless you cry out to God for mercy. He is compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love. Let us pray. Tonight I renounce all sexual sin that I have been involved with in the past, including fornication, masturbation, pornography, perversion, fantasy, and adultery in the name of Jesus. I break all curse of adultery, perversion, fornication, lust, incest, rape, molestation, harlotry, and polygamy in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit of lust and perversion to come out of my stomach, my genital, my eyes, my mind, my mouth, my hands, and blood in the name of Jesus. I present my body to the Lord as a living sacrifice. My members are the members of Christ. I will not let them be the members of a harlot. I release the fire of God to burn out all unclean lusts from my eyes for my life in the name of Jesus. I break all ungodly soul tie with former lovers and sexual partners in Jesus' name. I cast out all spirit of loneliness that will drive me to ungodly sexual relationships in Jesus' name. I command all spirit of hereditary lust from my ancestors to come out in Jesus' name. I command all spirit of witchcraft that work with lust to live in the name of Jesus. I take authority over my thoughts and bind all spirit of fantasy and lustful thinking in Jesus' name. I cast out all marriage-breaking spirit of lust that will break covenant in the name of Jesus. I cast out and loose myself from any spirit spouse and spirit of incubus and succubus in Jesus' name. I cast out all spirit of perversion, including Mohobite, Ammonite spirit of lust, in Jesus' name. I receive the spirit of holiness in my life to walk in sexual purity in Jesus' name. I loose myself from the spirit of the world, the lust of the flesh, 
the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. I overcome the world through the power of the Holy Spirit. I am crucified with Christ. I mortify my members. I do not let sin reign in my body, and I will not obey its lust. Father, I ask your Holy Spirit to help me now remember, confess, and renounce my sexual sins. Lord Jesus, I ask for your forgiveness for every act of sexual sin. You promise that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I ask you to cleanse me of my sexual sins now. Cleanse my body, my soul, and spirit. Cleanse my heart and mind and will. Cleanse my sexuality. Thank you for forgiving me and cleansing me. I receive your forgiveness and cleansing. I renounce every claim that I have given set into my life or sexuality through my sexual sins. Those claims are not broken by the cross and blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess here and now that you are my creator and therefore the creator of my sexuality. I confess that you are also my savior, that you have ransomed me with your blood. I have been brought with the blood of Jesus Christ. My life and my body belong to God. Jesus, I present myself to you now to be made whole and holy in every way, including in my sexuality. You ask us to present our body to you as a living sacrifice and parts of our bodies as instruments of righteousness. I do this now. I present my body, my sexuality. I present my sexual nature to you. I consecrate my sexuality to Jesus Christ. Satan, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every stronghold you have attempted to bring against me is rendered powerless and void by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. I put off all forms of lust and put on my new nature in spirit of holiness, righteousness, and purity. I strip lust of all power over my flesh and carnal mind. Jesus has defeated you, Satan, and I take dominion over you. You are under my feet, and your power of lust and sin is broken in my life. I abide in the Lord Jesus Christ. I have dominion and have received victory. Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer and delivering me from the power of the enemy. I thank you for your word that is established in my heart, my thoughts, and my life. I thank you for giving me power over the enemy. I thank you for strengthening me so that my body is not defiled by loss because it is your temple. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, for cleansing me, and for overcoming me. I praise you and give you all the glory and sing hallelujah to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I have the victory in you and through you. I believe I have received victory. Father, I thank you for revealing the evil lustful spirit attempting to drive me to lust. I thank you and believe you will not allow me to be drawn away by the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, or pride of life. I thank you for not allowing me to be overcome with lust in my eyes, for I know the eyes are the door to the heart, and your word says to guard my heart with all diligence. Father, please help me guard my heart by the words that I speak and strengthen me to guard my thoughts and eyes. Father, I pray that you place upon me the whole armor of God, so that I will always be able to stand against the devices of the enemy. I pray and thank you that you lead and deliver me from every temptation of lust, sin, and evil desire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority over Satan, every principality, every evil spirit, every spirit of wickedness in high places. I cut every ungodly soul tie associated with all evil memory we call concerning lust. I bind all spirits involved in the name of Jesus Christ and render them without power to operate in my life. I cut all loss, all these triggers of my mind, and emotion, and will, and I surrender loss to its desire from out of my heart to you, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind and cast off every spirit of loss, adultery, fornication, uncleanness in my life. Father, I surrender my body to you as a living sacrifice. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cast down every wicked, lustful, lascivious and unclean thought of the enemy in Jesus' name of Nazareth. In your strength, I refuse and will refuse to allow any thoughts of the enemy to enter. I cast them from me in Jesus' name. I completely repent and turn from all loss, Father. I pray that you will cause me to think upon those things which are pure, honest, and good report. 
and pray that you will not allow my mind to wander into idleness and lust, but that it stay upon the name and person of Jesus. Father, I come boldly before your throne of grace and mercy to find help and strength in time of my need. Lord, I fully submit to you. I resist this, Lord. I need you, Father. I am weak, but you made strong in my weakness. So by my faith, I overcome in you, being unable to overcome this loss myself. I give the burden to you by faith, so that I am able to withstand the devil and his many temptations. By my faith, my strength and hope that is in you. Therefore, Lord, I confess that I am strong in you and in the power of your might. Almighty God, everlasting Father, I know you will help me through this. I may be human, which makes me weak at times, but I will not yield to temptation or lustful desires, for yielding is sin. I know that I am strong through Christ who gives me strength. Satan shall not prevail. The work of the wicked shall not prosper, for we are healed, delivered, and saved through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I bless your holy name. I give you all the praise, all the honor and glory you deserve, for you are holy and righteous. In Jesus' mighty name I pray tonight. Amen.